everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I was in a conversation on Governor Wolf's Facebook page yesterday into the wee hours of this mor uh, morning this morning with three individuals concerning human abortion, uh, voluntary human abortion specifically. So uh, there seemed to be some confusion. Um, they said my position was unclear and I was having a hard time articulating it. So I thought I'd do a video to, well, articulate my opinion and my position. Um, on this subject. So Governor Wolf was not involved in the conversation. He never answered my question. Uh, if he chooses to answer that question, that'd be great. He can do so in the comments below um, or on that particular feed. That would be great. I would love to hear his position on whether or not he's familiar with that statute. So moving on to the actual conversation that progressed for several hours. Um, so their position was bodily autonomy. Uh, bodily autonomy, as defined in the English language, is that the body, the bodily needs of an individual are the needs of that individual's body. Pretty simple. So you got to eat, you got to drink, you got to sleep, got to have clothes, needs, Need, ha, and your needs are yours. Pretty simple position. Um, Pretty straightforward. Their bodily autonomy argument has to do with the mother. My bodily uh, autonomy argument has to do with the unborn child. So Pennsylvania legally defines an unborn child as a member of the hu an unique human organism and member of the Homo sapiens from birth until from conception until birth. So a human person from conception until birth. That would include embryos and uh, fetuses, as well as zygotes, um, since zygote is what happens at conception. So, uh, my position, in case it was unclear uh, to those ladies, I don't think it was unclear. I think it was just not accepted. I think they understood the argument. They just didn't accept it. Uh, and that's a, a very big distinction. Uh, understanding someone's argument and rejecting their argument is not the same thing as um, not understanding it. So, a uh, human being inside a uterus is still a human being, still a person. So, one argument they brought up was the seven characteristics of life. Uh, apparently, there's two different lists. I found that out. A fetus meets both lists. Um, pretty handily. One of them has to do with movement, expending energy, um, taking in nutrients, or reproduction. Um, I will try to have a link below um, for both lists that were used. Um, and a fetus meets both lists. Um, so killing an individual simply because of their location and their age is murder. It's murder. There's there are no other way to really define it. So um, in case I was unclear on my position of voluntary abortion, uh, this should clear up the air. And let me demonstrate what I mean by that. I'm Timothy Holt, and I am currently in the entryway of my house. See? Right there is my front door. Okay? So I'm Timothy Holt, and I just moved through my front door. Now I'm outside. Did I stop being Timothy Holt? No, I'm still Timothy Holt. I just changed locations. Okay, so a human being going from being a fetus to a neonate is simply changing locations. Specifically, they're going from inside a uterus to outside a uterus. Two most common ways of doing that would be vaginal birth and cesarean birth. But it's changing location. It's still the same human being. They just move locations. So the other um, argument on my premise that voluntary abortion is in fact murder uh, has to do with age. And so simply because you change age or developmental stage, you didn't stop being a human person. Um, you're still the same human person. So uh, for example, when I was 19, on December 1st, 
1999, uh, December 1st, 2000, I was 19 and I was a teenager. Uh, the very next day is December 2nd, that would be my birthday, and I became 20 years old. At that point in time, I'm no longer a teenager. Um, my developmental period of being a teenager or adolescent has ended, and I'm now a young adult. Did I stop being me? No, I just changed developmental periods. I got older. It's an amazing phenomenon. So, if you get older, you didn't stop being you. You're still you. You just have new experiences. But you're still the same person. You're still the same unique human organism and member of the human species. You're still a person. I think uh, Dr. Seuss hit it pretty well in Herbert Here's a Who. A person's a person no matter how small.